everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got some fake tan reviews for you. I've got some facial tans and some body tans. Now for years I've tried to get a tan and I've, I've just given up because all I do is burn and go pink so I've literally given up the ghost and I just think now slap on the SPF and just put some fake tan on and I've done with it. So I've tried lots over the years. Um, one of my favourites that I've ever tried is the St Moritz and this is in the dark self tan. Now I'm not using this at the moment because I've decided now I'm going to go more onto the gradual tans but this is a super tan and it's made in Yorkshire. It's four or five pounds and it's readily available and highly recommend it. It's one of the best ones out there. A few months back I was putting some tan on my body and I decided to put a little bit on my face. It wasn't this particular St Moritz one um, so I just thought I'll pop some on my face and uh, it'll be fine. Well, biggest mistake ever. Totally broke me out. Uh, all red around my eye and I had a big massive red patch here and it's taken absolutely weeks to go. So I will not be using body fake tan on my face again. So I've been trying some ones out. Uh, the first one I've tried out is the Vita Librata. This one was super, quite pricey. It was £19 and that was an offer. The full price is normally £25. Now this gave me a lovely golden tan, uh, quite light, quite subtle, um, I think you could really get away with using it every single night, it just gives you a lovely sunny glow. Um, I'll just show you, um, the, the, the one thing I wasn't keen on with this is the dispenser, it tends to splatter out and it always has a dry bit on the end, so even before I put some on my face I would... Um, as you can see, it's it splats out. You need a wet suit on when you're putting this on. So yeah, nice, rich, dark colour, but it blends out really well. Uh, I tend to put it on with my fingers, just massage it in, and then just wash my hands. Next facial one I tried out was a James Reed one. Now this one is really popular. I can't remember just how much I paid for this one because I got it in TK Maxx. But again, I think this is in more of the expensive line. Now this was, well you can see by how much I've used of it, very pleased with this, it gave me a lovely subtle colour, um, it's a nice fine mist, so easy to apply, um, the smell is quite strong though, it's very strong fake tan smell, um, what I tend to do is, I, I don't put a hairband on because it just, my fringe just sticks straight up, so I put my <laughs> too much information. I put a clean pair of knickers on and the elastic is just light enough just to stand the hair back. So I will give my face a spritz of it and then I will just go over with some makeup remover on the eyebrows and uh, yeah super but like I say it's very strong smelling. Now one of the last times I used it I got a flat top kabuki brush and I sprayed some directly onto the brush and then just buffed it in and that also worked really well but yes this gave me a really nice colour um, that was a James Reed one. The next facial one I tried was the Garnier Ambre Soleil No Streaks Self Tanning Mist Dry Mist and I got this one in light super happy as well with this colour, um, really natural and it was only 4 99 it was on offer in boots, I'm not too sure what the full price is but I can highly recommend this Garnier one, so I just gave, um, give it a good shake and again a nice really fine, it splattered out a bit there but it doesn't tend to do. Now this one is not as strong as the James Reed one but it has still got that quite strong self tan smell but it gave me an absolutely lovely colour this, really pleased with it. But I do tend to think in future what I will do is use the buffing technique onto a brush because I tend to hold my breath, spray it on but no, I can't, I can't really cope with the smell of them, so I think in future I will just apply it with a brush. But yeah, for the price, it, it's just as good as the James Reed and the Vita Librata, so save your money, 
get the Garnier one. Now onto a couple of body products. For years I've watched a lot of the American YouTubers and they've always mentioned this one quite a bit. It's the Jergens Natural Glow Firming Daily Moisturiser and I got this one in the medium to tan. Now like I say it's an American product so I actually ordered it on Amazon. It was £16 and this is absolutely amazing. Um, I'll show you the consistency of it. It's very easy to apply. It gives you a super colour the next day. I was, <laughs> when you get up the next morning, I was, wow. Uh, just lovely, subtle colour. Not orange, not umpa just a really nice colour. So it's a nice thick consistency, but it absorbs super easy. And like I said, very even to apply. And of course, I just wash my hands. What I tend to do is I'll get a wet wipe and just take it off my palms and in between my fingers. Um, it's got not not very strong self tan smell at all with this one. It's sort of peachy smell, very pleasant to use. And I did notice it was also very moisturising. So you've got a double. I mean, it does say it's good uh, for cellulite. I won't really go quite that far. It gave a really nice glow to your skin, so yes, that's the Jergens one, and like I said, I got that one on Amazon. Now, we were chatting about self tans at work in the salon, and uh, my lovely boss Heather recommended this one, and this one is the Dove. And I picked this one up in Tesco's, and it was on offer at £3. They didn't have it in the uh, medium to tan one. I got this one in the light one. In, sorry, in the fair to medium one. And this is the Dove Nourishing Body Care. And again, I was so pleased with this one. I can say it's very similar to the Jergens one. It's light, it's got a nice smell, not fake tan smell whatsoever. And uh, again, very easy to apply. I usually put it either on first thing on the morning after my shower or last thing at night after my shower. Obviously, if you leave it on overnight, you are going to get a deeper colour. So yes, I was very impressed with this Dove one and I will look out for the uh, dark one next time. Um, the disadvantage with this, the only thing I really don't like about it is it takes a long time to sink in. It, um, you can't sort of really get dressed straight away. It, it does take a long time to absorb. I'll show you the consistency of the Dove one. You see it's nice and thick. It's very pleasant, very pleasant smell. They also do one in a shimmer finish, so I might look out for that one. But yes, overall, for the price, can't go wrong with the Dove one. I hope you enjoyed my little review on the fake tan. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. And I hope to catch you again in another video. Thank you so much for watching then. Bye!